We are learning much more tonight about the final moments of a standoff that appears to have brought to an end a massive manhunt for an accused cop killer. Natasha Barrett is in our satellite center now with more on how all of this happened. Natasha? Well, Allison, police do say today that they believe the manhunt for the alleged cop killer in Southern California is likely over. A body in that cabin where Christopher Dorner was holed up is believed to be the suspect. This is where the 10 day reign of terror and massive manhunt for ex police officer Christopher Dorner came to an end. The cabin did burn right down to the frame. Authorities believe the charred body they discovered in the burned out cabin is that of the suspect involved in at least four murders, two of them police officers. Detectives are waiting for forensics to confirm his identity. It's been a very trying time over the last couple of weeks. Uh, for all of those involved. The search for Dorner escalated yesterday. There were reports he'd been cited, then gunfire. Two women reported being tied up and held hostage by a man resembling Dorner in a cabin not too far from where his burned out truck was found. He stole their car. Then another man says he was carjacked by Dorner. He was dressed, dressed up to uh, do some damage, it looked like. Within about 10 seconds or so, I heard a volley of gunfire. Two deputies approaching the scene were shot by the suspect. One was killed. Eventually, Dorner ran off to the cabin. SWAT team surrounded that cabin. In Riverside, California today, a farewell for Officer Michael Crane. Dorner is accused of gunning him down last Thursday. Every day got better. Every day we renewed our love. And I knew how much he loved me. Officer Crane was, of course, a husband and father of two. So far, authorities have not released the name or any information about the deputy killed during yesterday's standoff. Live from our SAT Center, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. Thank